This video will show you some benefits from the T8 control panel. And one of these benefits is the messages on screen while the machine is doing sewing. And um, to show you where it is, I have to press the button service, which is on L3. I hold now the information key, press the button here that you see where it is, service. So we go in and you see we have here different functions. And one of these is thread trimming cleaning position. This is already explained in one of our other videos from Andrea. Please watch this. It's quite important because the trimming system has to be cleaned sometimes. Anyway, we go to the next one. This is here underneath called messages. In message, when I open it, I have five different possibilities. So what I can do here is I tell him to show me after several passes or several stitches, give me a message, for instance, to give oil on the hook or anything else has to be done. I would like to show you how to do it. First of all, I have to press any one of these. I take now the first one, just select it, and my keyboard appears. And I will type in now, for instance, oil simply, or oiling, anyway, and confirm with OK. After that, he is asking me how many after how many stitches you want to have the message on screen. Here I can do it, or I will tell him how after how many passes of designs you want to have the message on screen. And I tell him after 30 design passes, please show me the message. Below we have another function called stop machine. Stop machine means when the message appears, the machine will stop. But this is not really necessary. That's why it's up to you if you want to have it, yes or no. In my case, it's just not much important. I think it is still nice when the machine is sewing. Anyway, I confirm this now and we would like to show you how it works. In this case, I will do now several design passes and then I would like to show you what happened. So, now you see while the machine is sewing, the message appeared and um, now I know, for instance, oh, it's time to give oil on the hook system. As I said, you have the possibility to give several messages. This is up to you. It can be anything. Um, maybe you have some ideas. At the moment, it's for me just the oiling. So the next part is, in service, create a service disk. What is this for? Create service disk is quite necessary when you have a problem with a machine. And we cannot figure it out when we are on the phone with you. Then we ask you, please put in the back side a USB stick on it. And I show you what will happen actually. When I press the button, he is now collecting all information from every motor, from every board, whatever. Put it together and this file he will put then on the USB key. So you are able to send it via email to us or to our dealers and we can figure it out what is the problem. Here you see already what it is. I can see the machine number. I can see what kind of machine it is, where the machine is placed. And if I say here then write data to USB device, he will do it. We go back to the service menu, pressing here the previous button and we are back. The next function what we see here is called test machine attachment. When I start test machine attachment, we do have here several possibilities to adjust parts from the machine. This could be the thread wiper, or we call it also the thread catcher. This could be the picker underneath on the hook device. This could be as well as the position of the main shaft, which is necessary to give the set time for the hook device, as well as we have here the thread take up lever to adjust all this stuff. Basically, it is used for technicians, from the dealers as well from us from CSK in Germany uh, but if you want to watch then also our other videos you are able to do it by yourself and in this case you need these functions to do so just that you have an idea I would like to show you for instance we go to the position main shaft I have to press the start button here it's called start testing and I do it now and it's asking in which degree you want to go to the degree for the hook device is always about 203 degree and it is already, already written in here. And I have just to confirm it again with start testing. And then it shows me here on top 
to start the function, I have to press the start key. That means the green one. So I do, and it will go then to the degree approximately. If it is not 100%, you can turn the main shaft by hand to the 203 degree, switch on then the brake, and then you can adjust the hook device, for example. If you want to leave it, you just say stop testing, and it goes back to the position where it should be always. And if you're done with everything, you just go back again with previous, and we are back in the service menu. Okay, last but not least, we have here the production data acquisition. This is necessary for MyCSK. If you use MyCSK, um, you have to set here the IP addresses as well. You have to activate it with a check and the port has to be done as well. And then we got in contact with our server and you have always the information about any machine you have from CSK. All right, we come now to the end of this video. I hope I could explain you quite well what we have here in the service menu and thank you very much for listening. See you next time.